Hello guys and welcome to Ledsha. In this video we will try to understand the gradient backpropagation algorithm, step by step through a concrete example. Assuming that we want to create an artificial neural network model that can predict whether a person is male or female based on his or her height and weight. First of all we must have a learning database that contains several examples of people's weights and heights with the indication of each person's gender. The neural network we are going to consider in this example is made up of three layers, an input layer through which we will introduce the height and weight of the person to be predicted to the network, a hidden layer made up of two neurons plus a bias and an output layer made up of two neurons that will predict the gender of the person. The first neuron of this layer will output a 1 and the second one a 0 if the person is a woman, while if the person is a man they will output respectively 0 and 1. So our learning database will be represented in the following way. Two columns of features, the first column named x1 will contain the values of the weights and the second x2 will contain the heights. The values of these features are normalized and their values are between 0 and 1. A column y1 whose values will be equal to 1 if it is a woman and 0 if it is a man. On the opposite of this column, a fourth called y2 will have the values 0 if it is a woman and 1 if it is a man. To simplify the illustration of the gradient backpropagation algorithm, we will consider only the first two examples of this learning database. Our neural network composed of three layers will take as inputs, the values of x1 and x2, the two outputs of the network will be called h1 and h2. Two connected neurons are linked by an arrow from the source neuron to the destination 1. This connection has a weight omega subscript the number of the destination neuron comma the number of the source neuron. In superscript, we can notice between brackets the number of the layer. The first step of the gradient backpropagation algorithm consists in assigning random values to the omega's weight. Two notations that we must know before moving on to the second step. One is the excitation of neuron noted, in, which is equal to the set of inputs of this neuron weighted by their omegas, the other is the activation noted, a, which is equal to f of in with f as the activation function of this neuron. The examples of the training dataset are learned one by one. Let's start with the first example of our learning database. x1 equals 0.9 and x2 equals 0.5. These two values are assigned to the input neurons, then propagated forward along the network from the input layer to the output layer. As each neuron passes through, these, in, and, a, are calculated. We can draw up a table to record the values of the A's and we can omit the base since their A's are always equal to 1, and the input neurons since their A's are equal to the features X1 and X2. In the same table, we reserve another row to record the values of the deltas that we will see how to calculate them in the next step. Deltas are calculated at each neuron except for the bias and input neurons. The values of these deltas are calculated by back propagating the error prediction made by the network. The errors at the output layer are equal to y minus h, which means the desired output minus the current output. The hidden layer neuron deltas are calculated by applying this formula. The table where the values of the a's have been recorded, we will add the values of the deltas to it. Knowing all the deltas and all the a's we can calculate the stochastic gradients of the cost function with respect to all the omegas in the network. To record the values of these stochastic gradients, we will draw up this new table. On the first row, we are going to note the gradients of the first example, on the second the gradients of the second example and so on. The last row of this table will be reserved for the sum of all the stochastic gradients of each omega. Now it's the time of the second example of our learning database to be propagated through our network from the input layer until the output layer. And as you can see, by applying the formulas to calculate the ins and as, we will obtain the following values. As in the first example, a new table will be drawn up to record the a's and deltas in order to calculate the stochastic gradient with respect to each omega. A backward propagation of the error committed by the second example is applied to compute the deltas at the level of the output and hidden neurons, without considering the bias. The calculated delta will be saved in the same table with the a's. Now, by applying the formula for calculating the stochastic gradient with respect to an omega j i, we multiply the delta j by the a i. We return now to the table where we save the stochastic gradients of the first example and add those of the second example. Once we have finished, we can calculate the sum of the stochastic gradients of the cost function c with respect to each omega for all the examples. Finally we can update our omega's weights, either by applying the regularization technique or not. 
The choice to update the omega here will be to use regularization. You can notice that there are two parameters in the formulas which are the alpha learning rate and the lambda regularization parameter. In the following we will take alpha equal to 0.1 and lambda equal to 0.5. In this last table we note the initial omega's values and their updated values after an iteration. It can be seen that the new values are just values adjusted a little bit from the initial omega's values. In the second iteration, these last values will be considered as the initialization of the omegas. Below this video you will find a link to an Excel file on which is calculated the values of all the variables used throughout this video. You can also find the updated version of the weight without using the regularization technique. Well, that was all for today. If you have any doubt, feel free to add your question in the comment section. Thank you.